Hello guys, this is The Progress Element and I'm Isha. Today I'm making a video about one of the most requested topics ever, which is the financial aid or scholarship process at Minerva Schools at KGI. If you don't know what Minerva Schools is, it is a really amazing college based in the United States in which students study in seven different countries all over the world over the course of four years. Before I begin this video, I just want to apologize for all the sound in the background. I'm literally sitting in the woods right now um, just because there's great lighting and yeah, I hope you can excuse that. So in today's video, I will specifically be talking about the financial aid process at Minerva. So Minerva does not give a fully funded scholarship like most American colleges, but rather it gives something called financial aid. Financial aid essentially means it is a package composed of scholarship, loans and work study and different colleges have different amounts of each or they might even have a fully funded scholarship but what Minerva offers is a financial aid package. Now when you're applying for American colleges there are two terms you need to look for especially as a student who needs assistance with their finances. These two terms are one need blind and two meeting demonstrated need. Need blind colleges are those colleges that don't look at how much money you need to come to their college and they don't consider that as a part of the process of evaluating your application. So if you don't have a lot of money and you don't come from a rich background, they will not penalize you for this. The second thing, meeting demonstrated needs simply means that they will meet whatever need you demonstrate. And as of now, I read on um, Wikipedia, which is not the perfect source, but I trust this article um, and they say that there are only eight institutions in the United States that are need blind for international students and only seven of those are colleges that meet this demonstrated need. And these seven colleges are Amherst, Curtis Institute of Music, Georgetown University, Harvard University, MIT, Minerva Schools at KGI, Princeton University and Yale University. Now, one thing that I've noticed about all of these colleges is that these are really, really hard to get into colleges. They have low acceptance rates. Minerva does as well. But I guess if you get in, it's good for you because whatever need you demonstrate and however much money you need, they will give it to you to make sure that you can attend the college. So once you're in, you know that finances will no longer be a burden and you can attend the college. So surprisingly, Minerva is actually a cheaper college when it comes to tuition. The total cost of attendance of Minerva is around $33,000 for first years to third years. And for fourth year students, there's an additional cost for graduation. So their total comes to around $37,000. These are not exact figures. I will leave the exact figures in the description box below, along with all important links that I mentioned in this video. If you're interested, you can also check out what makes up these costs. So the tuition, the residential fees, and other fees, etc. So a lot of people are curious why Minerva's tuition is lower than other U.S. colleges. I looked this up on their website and their answer is, Minerva is able to uphold our commitment to affordable education because we only invest in the things needed to provide the best education possible. We don't invest in expensive real estate, outdated infrastructure, collegiate sports, or unnecessary amenities that don't directly support your educational experience. This is also why we do not offer faculty tenure. Our expert faculty are here because they want to teach. I hope that answers your question. Minerva also states that they evaluate each admitted student's financial situation impartially by ensuring equal opportunity. So this means that no matter who you are or no matter which country you are from, Minerva does not take that into consideration. There is no quota system also for the admissions process. So it does not matter what country you are from. They don't have a set number of candidates from any country that they have to enroll or of a particular gender. So no matter who you are, just apply if you get in and if you need money, ask them and you will get it. Now, how do you get financial aid? So you apply for financial aid through a financial aid application. This application, is a separate application from your admissions process. So once you've applied to the college, you will apply for the financial aid separately. There is a deadline for this. Please do not miss it because if you miss it, Minerva may not consider you for financial aid. So I highly, highly recommend keeping in track of the deadlines and making sure you meet them. 
So before I talk about the financial aid application process, let's discuss the components of the financial aid package itself. So first, let's talk about the loan. You essentially take out a loan of $5,000 each year as a financial aid student, as a student who has a scholarship. And this amounts to a total of under $22,000 or around $22,000 after four years. So that is how much you will have in debt. And this um, low interest loan has an interest of, I would say, about 6.25%. But this may change in the coming years, as may a lot of other information in this um, video. So please take it with a grain of salt and do your own research. And you have to pay the interest on this loan while you are in Minerva. So as a first year student, you pay for your first year loans interest and the second year you pay for both loans and so on. As for the scholarship component of your financial aid package, scholarships are grants that do not need to be paid back. And for students who have a high amount of financial need, a huge part of your package will be a scholarship. So this will be money that Minerva gives to you for free. It is thanks to the donors and philanthropic organizations who donate to Minerva and you do not need to pay this money back. This is the best part about the financial aid package. The last part is the work study. So work study is essentially an internship that is given to you during the semester and you work for either Minerva or a partner organization of Minerva and you do a task you complete around 7.5 hours per week and there is a set number of hours that you need to complete. You may do less but you cannot go over this limit and if you complete these hours you get paid. Now, it is very important to mention that Minerva does not guarantee internships during the summer. A lot of students do get these internships, but this is because of their own effort and you are not guaranteed work study. In fact, there is no work study during the summer. So now let's talk about the financial aid application process. So when you apply to Minerva, you will complete the application process and then you will apply for financial aid. When you apply for financial aid, the first thing that you need to do is complete a CSS profile. You may need to do this for other colleges as well. CSS stands for College Scholarship Service Profile, and it's essentially a application where you input a lot of your information about your finances and your family's finances. There is a cost to completing this application, but if you can't afford to complete this application on your own, you can request a fee waiver. You have to send some information to the Minerva Financial Aid Office. I will link their email also in the description box below. The next part is going to Minerva's Financial Aid Center, which is a portal created by Minerva to complete a financial aid questionnaire, which asks similar questions about your family and how much you earn and you also have to upload certain documents. So the documents that are needed at this point in the application are usually tax documents of your parents, their income documents, so pay slips, and also all of their bank account statements. Now, of course, I can't share the entire financial aid application with you, but I can tell you what it asks for. So it asks for how much money your parents earn, what their jobs are, what vehicles you own, what property or assets your family owns, how much income you make in a year, any health bills you may have or any debts you may have, and about your siblings, what they are studying, how much your parents are paying for their tuitions. It also now asks for the Minerva Financial Aid um, application about your home and maybe even photos of your home or your vehicles just to make sure that you are providing truthful information. And they also may ask about your travel history. So if you have been to a different country, it will ask you where you've been and how you sponsored that trip. This is all to gauge how much money your family can actually contribute. And depending on the amount that Minerva calculates, they will provide you with a financial aid package. And this will be different for each person depending on their financial need. So this is the key to the Minerva financial aid process is that it is very individualized. So if your friend needs more money, they will get more money. If you need more money or if your family earns less or is not able to contribute as much, you will get more money. So there is no standardized scholarship for all students and it is not merit based. The admissions is merit based. So once you get in, everyone has to present their own financial situation and they're given the money according to their needs. So what advice do I have for the Minerva financial aid process? Um, I would say, first of all, be honest. There may be consequences if you are not and make sure you are consistent throughout the application. 
So it may be beneficial to also store the information that you're providing for your CSS profile and use the same documentation for your Minerva questionnaire. Um, you should essentially be keeping track of all the documentation that you are using and ensure that you are providing evidence. I cannot stress this enough, even for the admissions process. If you are um, claiming something, if you're claiming that your family is in debt, provide information. If you are claiming that you have a house in this and this place, you have to provide documentation. Most of the times the application will ask you for this, but even when it does not, I would recommend you to provide documentation so that Minerva knows that you are honest. Lastly, I would say don't be afraid to ask questions. I'm always here if you have questions. I can't help you with um, financial aid questions that are very personal, but I know that there is the financial aid office at Minerva and you can always email them and ask specific questions if you do have them, especially after you have gotten into Minerva. So how do you get notified and what happens after you've submitted the application? So first you get your application decision for your college application. So you get the decision of whether you have been admitted to Minerva or not. And if you have been admitted to Minerva and you did apply for financial aid, you will then later receive your financial aid package. And depending on this financial aid package, you may choose to come to Minerva or you may choose not to. And if you choose to come here, you will need to reapply for financial aid each year. And this is a very important thing that a lot of people don't know. They think they will apply for a scholarship once and that's that. No, no, no. You apply each year. And this is because your family's financial situation may change and Minerva wants to keep track of it. So if your family is earning more, you may have a lower financial aid package. Whereas if your need is increased, you may have a higher financial aid package. So it really depends person to person and you definitely need to apply each year. But the good thing is that you do not need to complete the CSS profile each year. You only need to complete the Minerva Financial Aid Center application each year. So before I leave, I want to mention that this video was about explaining the financial aid application process and the structure of the financial aid package. So what it is composed of. I do plan on making another video which shows the true cost of Minerva, which may be helpful for a lot of you who are trying to gauge how much Minerva actually costs. So in that video, it will be a lot more detailed and I will list all the expenses that you have at Minerva, including taxes. Um, insurance bills and other expenses so things you need to account for when you get in or if you're planning to apply to this college and I think it will be very helpful if you watch that video I will also link it in the description box below if you have any questions please feel free to let me know and I am here to help you as always thank you